hello everybody welcome back to my channel hope you're all doing well i firstly apologize if you can hear music coming from the flat above me um one bad thing about lockdown is that the person who lives above me is at home all the time um and they might actually i could be quite loud to be honest because sometimes i sing a lot and stuff like that but during the day recently they've taken to just playing songs really loud um, and then when I've got my windows open, they've got their windows open so then it comes into my flat even louder. Um, so I've closed my windows <laughs> in the hope that it kind of dulls it down a bit. Um, but yeah, they also like to shout uh, in the evening as well and shout the F word. I wonder if they play video games, I don't know. Um, but I only ever hear a man's voice up there. But then some of the music they play is like music that I loved. But I don't know who it is who lives above me. Um, they are currently playing at the moment. Um, is it Natasha Bed Bedingfield? And it's like these words are my own from my home. I love you, I love you. And they've just played a song that I haven't heard since I was a child. I think it's by Anastasia. Um, what was it? Now I've got the Natasha Benningfield one in my head. They just played something. Oh my gosh. Um. Oh. And maybe you shouldn't know just how it feels to be left outside alone when it's cold out here. I don't know the words. Well, maybe you should know just how it feels to be left outside alone. To be left outside alone. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, um, good music, but when I want to film a video, so like, I try and wait for them to finish their music, um, they don't actually normally do it in the morning, they all, I think the earliest they've done it is from half eleven, so maybe I just need to film in the morning, um, and normally they don't stop until like dinner time, so, um, yeah, I'm just gonna film and it's not that loud and hopefully my voice is kind of drowning it out a bit, um, but anyway, let's just get into my video. So, um, about a week or two ago I watched a video um, with Oliver Ormson and Carrie Hope Fletcher in. Everyone knows I love Carrie Hope Fletcher. Um, and they're both, like her and her boyfriend are putting a video up each day on their channels. So I actually can't remember whose channel the video was on. But basically um, the BBC came out with an article um, called like the good things about lockdown or what's getting us through lockdown or something like that and I thought um, that I would basically copy their video. Um, in their video they kind of went through the list and they spoke about whether those things were helping them through lockdown and I thought it'd be quite interesting to do the same so I'm going to kind of like list them and talk about them a bit and see whether I'm doing the things that apparently are good to do in lockdown um, and uh, I think it would be nice as well to hear from you guys and see whether you're doing the same thing as well or not. Um, the article, I'm going to leave the article down below if you want to read it um it's called coronavirus eight things that have kept us going in lockdown um so let's read them the first number one is socializing virtually um i have definitely done that um but that's just like the new way isn't it now i've been like facetiming my sister um who has been like borrowing my mum's phone to facetime her friends and me and stuff like that um and i've been doing like family quizzes on zoom um also work now we do our um supervisions on zoom we used to only have monthly supervisions but now we're having them weekly just to keep in contact um with my friends as well i've been having like evening zooms with them and some of my work friends we've been like after our supervision we'll then be like should we have our own zoom now um and like catch up there so yeah there's been a lot of zoom i had never even heard of zoom before lockdown started and everyone started talking about it and um didn't everyone used to have skype but now everyone has zoom and so yeah i've been using that so i've definitely been socializing virtually also on the dating side of things i've had a few video dates as well which has been really good actually and really interesting i think at this time I'm not looking to 
put my heart and soul into someone <laughs> in lockdown because you never know how long we're going to be like this for and when you might eventually meet and there's no point holding a flame for someone I personally don't think until like you've at least actually met in person um, but what video dates do is they just help you see someone's mannerisms and I really like that because you can talk to someone and the way they text might be they could text quite blunt they could text with like loads of inf like emphasis and emotion and stuff and use loads of emojis that seem really fun but then when you see them like talking they might be completely different um so yeah and also just see if you like vibe well um so there's a motorbike going past typical every time i film a motorbike goes past um and so yeah i think that they've been really good and like helpful almost i guess um but video dates for the win and then also drinking alcohol when you're like videoing someone is a lot better than just i would never be someone who drank alcohol just by themselves um and i've never been someone who drank much alcohol but now you know i like i like having a few drinks when i'm having a chat with my friends or um something like that so yeah social socially socially socializing virtually okay right lots of statistics there number two watching films and using streaming services i don't think i have watched a film at all in lockdown i'm trying to think but i don't think i've watched a film at all um no i really don't think i have i haven't i've never really been much of a film watcher and much of a tv lover um there are like my key kind of programs that i watch but i like watch them on catch up when i'm like getting ready or something like that i don't like to really sit down in the evening and watch telly um i'm much more of like a youtube fan um but yeah, I don't think I've watched any films, but streaming services, I did go and get a free 30 day trial of Amazon Prime, but I didn't even end up watching anything on Amazon Prime because I just forgot about it because I just was never in the mood to like go and look through it. Um, but through Amazon Prime, I did get a 99p subscription to Stars Play and then I watched The Act, which is about Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Um, so... I did that and then I kind of cancelled them before I had to pay lots of money. I am contemplating getting Disney Plus um, and you get a free week and so I would, I just want to make sure that on that week like I have loads of spare time and I can watch lots of stuff to kind of make the most of it. Um, but that might be something. I have subscribed to MTV Play because I am a sucker for programmes like Teen Mum um and i have never been able to watch them before obviously when i lived at home i did we had sky but um i haven't been able to watch them since i've been in this flat um i looked at getting now tv like months ago um but just found that it was too expensive just for the entertainment pass which had mtv on um and yeah so i have not been able to like keep keep up with teen mum and i would go around my friend emma's house and we'd watch them together um but i got mtv play and so i've been been using that it's 3.99 a month i think once this season is of team mum uk is over i might cancel it and then maybe resubscribe when it comes back i don't know but um yeah and then i guess i've been on netflix a bit more um to watch some stuff um like dead to me afterlife I can't remember what else um but yeah so subscription streaming services i've definitely been getting involved in um what else is here number three is spending more time with the people we live with and helping neighbors um i live by myself <laughs> so uh i've been spending more time with myself <laughs> um i've definitely been spending more time listening to the person who lives above me but anyway <laughs> um helping neighbors i definitely think now there just feels like there's a bit more of a community i guess um like now when like me or my mum go to the shop we'll phone each other and see if we want anything i always phone my nan to see if she wants anything um because my nan isn't leaving the house 
Um, and uh, I've seen, especially when this first started, lots of Facebook posts of like people saying that they're free to help and I did the same as well, which it feels like ages ago. It was like two months ago now really, wasn't it? Um, but now there are just like loads of volunteers who are now being organised by like the local authorities and stuff and I think that's really cool. Um, and yeah, someone who I went to school with who I don't really talk to needed something from the shop and then I messaged her like, I'm about to go, Do you? what do you want? But then she didn't get back to me in time, so I tried. <laughs> but um, yeah, I feel like at the moment, if someone ever posted like, I'm in desperate need of milk or something, then I'd be like, all right, I'm gonna go get you some milk, you know? Whether I know you very well or not. Um, someone wanted to know, was tr struggling to find a uh, cow pole in the big shops and then my mum said she found some in the corner shop by me so then I was like I think there's some there um so yeah everyone seems to be like helping each other a bit more which is really really nice to see um number four exercising outside and in if you know me I am not an exerciser um I yeah really do not do anything yoga doesn't count as exercise i don't think i don't really know what it counts as i feel like it's more stretching even though there is some like ab work and stuff and you do get quite hot and sweaty sometimes depends what moves you do though doesn't it um and then also how hard you push yourself um but then it can also just be really relaxing almost like um meditation kind of vibe so that depends but i've picked that up so I, that's like something new to like move my body um i do not exercise outside i can't think of anything worse than going for a run um if i'm honest maybe going for walks and stuff like i've been walking um to pick up stuff from my mum's or when i've dropped stuff off at my dad's like i've been walking to and from um whereas before i probably would have just been like i'll just get in the car because it's quicker it also helps that it's been quite sunny um I would do yoga outside if I had my own garden, but I have a shared garden and um, I just don't like the thought of everyone looking out the windows and seeing me and then people coming to hand their washing outside and then like seeing me and yeah, I'd rather just have my own garden, which is a shame when you live in a flat. Um, so yeah, I don't really, haven't really been exercising. Number five is cooking, gardening, and reading. I have not done any gardening because I do not have a garden. Um, I don't even have like a windowsill pot or anything like that. Reading, I haven't done any reading and it is on my list to, um, I got like halfway through Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine and then I stopped and I want to start from the beginning again to kind of recap things and then actually finish the book. That is on my list of something to do, but I haven't been doing it. Um, cooking, I've definitely been buying foods that I normally wouldn't. Um, both like, I used to eat ve completely vegan at home. Now I will say I have been buying some stuff that has got like milk in it or cheese in it. Um, and hopefully when lockdown finishes, I kind of stop that. But I've definitely been buying more like interesting looking food. Um, to kind of treat myself with because I'm not going out to Costa with my work friends or I'm not meeting my friends for dinner. Um, and yeah, um, I've also been trying out doing some baking every couple of weeks as well. So um, yeah, I think that's that's been keeping me, keeping me busy. Number six is doing DIY and learning something new. Um, so I bought a ukulele and I've been trying to learn different songs on that and I'm really enjoying it. Um, I started doing yoga and learning yoga. Um, and then DIY, I've bought loads of stuff to redo my bathroom. So um, I've been, I'm gonna try and tackle that for the rest of the week and the weekend and see how far I get. So yeah, I'm definitely feeling like doing DIY and learning something new I feel like that that's that's where I am that's what I'm doing definitely um number seven is spending more on food and shopping locally um I am spending more on my grocery shop but I wouldn't say I'm spending more on food in general before I would buy less stuff from the supermarket but then I would eat out more whereas now I'm not eating out at all so then I'm spending more in the supermarket. Um, so I feel like I'm probably spending about the same. 
shopping locally I'm still going to Sainsbury's I don't have any there's like a local butchers but I'm, I'm, I don't go to a butchers I don't need meat um and there is like a little corner shop near me that only does like the little things um I would only pop around there if I like I've ran out of milk but I don't even drink normal milk I drink oat milk so I don't think they even stock oat milk um but if I like needed like a loaf of bread or I, I don't know, I fancy a little bit of chocolate, I might like, pop around there. Um, but I, my, the, where I live, we don't have like our local village shop where, where someone bakes their bread and um, you can get lots of food from and we don't have any farm shops or anything like that. Um, there are some that are like a drive away, but I don't even really know where they are. Um, so I haven't been shopping locally as such. Um, before um, I used to shop a lot in a Tesco by my office, like as in halfway to my office, so on the way home I'd pop in that Tesco, which I loved because it felt like a treat because it was like a new shop and I haven't been there since lockdown. Um, and I've just been shopping basically in my local Sainsbury's and then sometimes I've done a little bit of a drive to go to home bargains to shop or to asda to shop as well um so yeah number eight is spending more on home comforts such as potpourri that's a weird thing to put in an article isn't it i don't know scented candles and logs for fires i don't have a fire i don't have any potpourri um, I rarely burn scented candles if I'm honest. I prefer wax melts because I, I'm scared of getting like soot on my walls. Um, have I been spending more? No. No, because I wouldn't buy candles from Sainsbury's. I would buy them from other shops. Um, so, no. Have I spent more on home comforts? What have I been spending money on? I spent money on clothes and like makeup that I got delivered. But no, I haven't been spending money. I haven't bought any new pajamas, any new blankets, anything like that. So it's definitely not me. Um, no, I haven't been spending lots of my money like willy nilly basically it's like if i wanted if i felt like i needed something i'll go on that website and then i'll see what else was on that website but um no i haven't bought anything for my for home comforts i guess that's it that's the last one there we go so that was the little article on bbc on bbc website um yeah I definitely think there are good things that are coming out of this and I think from anything that like happens or oh, just just get my leg up <laughs> um I'm just gonna move you now because I'm trying to get comfy my sock is coming off my foot as well oh that's all going on yeah I think that even when you know bad things happen there are some good things coming out of it but I also know that I'm speaking from someone from someone's point of view who hasn't been affected badly by it i um personally only know i per i personally only know one person who has passed away from it um and who was an old work colleague of mine um but um i no one in my family has had it as far as we're aware or has passed away from it um, members of like my friends family have um, so I'm not talking about there are good things that come out of coronavirus but I think from lockdown and for those of us who are being forced to stay at home um, there are good things that can come out of it um, and it's really weird now I feel like I'm just living my life like at a much slower pace than I was before um, and yeah um learning new things trying new things treating yourself in like different ways trying to refine that connection with people when you can't actually see them and hug them um yeah it's been it's been odd hasn't it and um but there are you know there are things there i'm so glad that we live in a 
point in time where technology is really good and we can video call people um imagine if like we still could only call people when they weren't on the internet or something like that and gosh or before there even was internet gosh yeah um so i'm feeling thankful for that um and yeah cool so that was my little video i hope you enjoyed it um let me know down below um what you've been doing that kind of fits into any of the categories i'll leave the list down below um but i just thought it'd be like an interesting little little video to film um hope you're all okay and i will see you tomorrow in my next video